New tonight at 5, the video that could lead police to the people who set a playground on fire. It happened Monday at an elementary school on Cleveland Avenue that's in Columbia. NBC4's Liz Adiola is live there right now with the video. And Liz, you have new details about this crime. That's right, Dwayne. Yellow caution tape now surrounds the playground where authorities say three young boys met there in the middle of the night to build kindling and strike a match. Caught on camera leaving the scene. We've got one that was in a white shirt with some print across the front, black shorts and a light stripe down the side. Uh, had a little like drawstring black knapsack. Um, another one had tan pants and a darker shirt. And the other boy had a red shirt and looked like a darker blue jean. Investigators say take a close look. These three boys are now wanted for allegedly setting a fire that melted parts of a playground set and left other parts in ashes. I'm sure these three guys. If they do or if someone knows something about this crime, they could get a reward of up to $5,000 for their tip. The fire happened Monday night around 9 at the Linden Stem Academy playground. Officials say school surveillance footage captured the kids gathering mulch and other flammable materials to set the fire near a tunnel. This was the end result. Speaking with the principal, at this point she's not got confirmation that they'll be able to replace this. Yeah. They may just have to remove it and uh, kids will lose out on that. Another surveillance camera at a neighboring business captured this footage of the children walking away from the scene. Investigators say they hope someone will see this footage and recognize something familiar in it and call in a tip. Now the number to call is 645-3011. That's 645-3011 if you know anything about this crime. Like I said, there's a reward of up to $5,000 for tips in this case. And I did speak to parents as they picked up their children today. We'll hear from them coming up tonight on NBC4 at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Linden, Liz Adiola, NBC4. Liz, thank you.